Apps for an automation system have added benefits of both diagnostics and control, anytime and anywhere. Let me show you how easy they can be. So here's the project for this automation system we want to enable this app for. The first step would be I go to the main OB. Actually, when I use these two different tags here, start and stop, what I want to do is go to the start tag and click on rewire tag, change it to a global memory, click on change, and then go to the stop tag, rewire tag, change it to global memory as well, and click on change. Now our code is done. The next step is the web server. Go down to the controller itself, and in the property section of this 1215C, you'll see that we have web server enable checkbox here. Check on that box. A quick security note pops up, basically telling us, hey, look, you're enabling a web server. Do you want to have additional security? We don't for this particular instance. Click on OK. One thing I do want to do, though, is click on Permit Access Only with HTTPS. That way we have the ability to make it more difficult from a security standpoint of somebody being able to sniff out the connection from the smart device to the control system. Okay, what we want to do now is go down to Protection and click on Read Write Protection and add a password in of admin once and twice. Now give focus to the CPU, click on the download arrow button. He's going to compile the fact that we did the code changes. We added in a, a password protection as well as the web server. Click on load. Now you can see we actually are loading to the control system. Once he is finished, we can click on it. We are now finished and we have a completed system with the changes. So how about the smart device and an access point? As you can see, I do have the access point pre-configured with this other control station. I've also gone to the App Store already and loaded the Somatic S7 1200 app, which is free of charge, to this particular iPad. So the first step would be come over to Settings, enable the Wi-Fi. Now it's going to go out and search and try to find this access point, the S7 1200. That's the correct one. I set it up with a static IP address, just like the entire uh, network configuration. So now we're online with it. That's fine. Let's go over to the actual app itself. So here it is. As you can see, across the bottom, we have our navigation buttons. We have an add, edit, delete, log on, and settings. So for instance, for settings, if you want to change the language, you want to reset the password, refresh the frequency, whatever you want to do in a particular application, here's where you do it. And if I want to add the new control system, let's just start with this side. Go to add. It's going to require the IP address of 192.168.0. Dot one, including the password, that's admin, click add, and now it's added the controller. So now you can see we have the old controller and the new controller in this particular app right now. If I want to interrogate the new controller, just click on this icon right here. Now you can see across the top we have the run stop state and a diagnostic buffer. We also have the controller with all the part numbers, serial numbers, hardware, firmware versions, including an analog card, digital card, and a Profibus MasterCard, and that is all correct, and everything's good to go right now. If I want this to go back into a stop state, for instance, I can actually click on this. It's going to say change mode to stop, say OK. It's going to require a password as well, so that's admin for this application. That was already pre-configured. Click on done. Click on run again. OK. Now you can see we've gone to a stop mode. The inverse of that's pretty easy. Just click on that run stop mode again, click OK, and we're in the run mode that quick. OK, how about diagnostics? Currently I have the potentiometer wired into this analog card and anything above 5 volts is going to be high limit exceeded. So let me just turn that above 5 volts. Now you can see the LEDs across here. We do have the registered uh, fault at this point and the analog card will update here in a few seconds. Now it has, so there is an error message with him. And they click on the diagnostic buffer. First message, single channel error, high limit exceeded. That is exactly correct. Let me solve the problem real quick. Now the con control system has solved the problem. And if we go back to the original screen, there's absolutely no problem with this analog card either at this point. So how about control? Let me go back one. Go to these tags icon right here. Click on the add button. If you remember, the start tag was memory location 0.0. .0. It is a boolean. Click on add. 
Now we've got the start tag. How about the stop tag? Memory location 0 0.1. That's a Boolean as well. Click on add. Now we have both of our tags. Let's go back one. You can see both of them right here. If I do want an exact control over them, just go to the first one, click on edit, push a one right here, click update. As you can see, I have complete control over this control system in just a matter of minutes. Now that's engineering efficiency.